Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, buddy? <laughs> I got a surprise for you. to see her baby man she's she's soaking it in you gotta let it go you gotta let her do a thing <laughs> so a good time happy tears happy tears yeah. so they are Oh, 
time do you have left? Uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, bring her upstairs and... <laughs> I know, but I already made plans for them to go to John's, so.
the sacrifices you and your family have gone through. I think you left in January of 13. That's a long time for you and I your husband. And they were married one year. And, and Greg went overseas. So we can't thank you enough for all you've done. I tried, you tried. So we'd like to honor you with a, thank you. a little gift. This is a banner that says yeah! So we'll give that to you, Ashley. We also got another little surprise. Again, thanks to Jack Cassidy. We put together a small video and uh, we want you to show, uh, show it to you. It's also, it's, it's just dedication to you, your family, to Greg, and to all the people that are servicing overseas. So with that, I'd like to to this video. All right, go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Um, I guess thank you. <laughs> uh, I've never been so nervous in my life. Um, through everything I've had to do, this is this is crazy, and it, it feels like a dream. And uh, even if, if it was a dream, I, I don't think I could have imagined something as spectacular as this. So, so thank you, everyone, uh, WBN, uh, Cincinnati Bell, everyone involved. And this is incredible, and, and I can't be more excited. And, I can't wait to see the look on my wife's face. Thank you for coming, and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, I'm actually thrilled that uh, my family is brought here to the fire site. Finally tonight, it took a lot of planning and a trip halfway across the world, but the hardest part was keeping this Mother's Day surprise a secret. How one serviceman pulled it off, and boy, was mom surprised. The tears started falling just after mom, Dina Entz, hit the field at halftime of this Houston Dynamo soccer game. She thought this video from her son, Andrew, an airman based overseas, was her Mother's Day gift. But the real gift was running up behind her. United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Andrew In. I had no idea. This has got to be the best Mother's Day present ever. It was priceless. It was like a moment I'll never forget. Uh, just seeing her, uh, her face and uh, the look and the expression on her face and how, how excited she was. Andrew is based in South Korea and hasn't been home in eight months. So being here today for Mother's Day and for church with his parents and sister is special. We weren't expecting him to come home until uh, December. Across the country, service members surprising their moms. State Sergeant James has just returned from Afghanistan to be Staff Sergeant Marquita James surprised her mother, a single mom of two, who was about to receive a master's degree from Brunel University in Georgia. Back in Houston, the Enses are making the most of Andrew's surprise visit. 
brunch with extended family, particularly sweet since Andrew has rarely made it home in the past five years. Andrew and his mom get three weeks together this time, a visit the two will now never forget. It's been hard, but you know, I know that Andrew is in a good place. I miss him tremendously, but I know he's happy doing what he's doing, serving our country and protecting our freedom. And from everyone here at ABC News, a big hug to all the moms out there. GMA first thing in the morning, and David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night. What's your reaction going to be when he gets it? I'm a, I'm a nervous wreck right now. I'm just all sick of myself. <laughs> um, probably cry. <laughs> yeah. Sean Willie's children expected him to come home this week, just not exactly when he did. Hannah and Wyatt Willie were told by their mother Natalie that their dad will be returning home on Friday after serving with the U.S. Army overseas and being away from his family since last November. So when he walked across the baseball field in Leesburg on Wednesday, they were in for the surprise of their lives. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Were you pretty surprised when you saw your dad? How did you feel when you saw your dad for the first time? Very excited. Have you missed him? Oh, it's great to be back in the States. Uh, until you've left here, you never know what it's like to come back and, and enjoy what, what we have here. So, uh, but to see the kids, that was, uh, that was a, a great welcome home for me as well. So, uh, I know it uh, pleased them, but it also pleased me too. Willie will be home for two weeks before returning back to duty. He is expected to come home for good in October. He said that. I got in last night. I wanted to surprise you. Well, you sure did. <laughs> Where's your mother? I'm somewhere under. I think she was. She blow dry in her hair. Look. Well, don't come out good to but <laughs> A handshake won't get it, buddy. Bless your heart. I am thrilled to that to see you. Gosh, you're good looking, right? Now. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you very much. It's been a couple months. <laughs> yes, it has. But it's almost five, isn't it? Yeah, it's been almost five months. Well, 20 weeks. Yeah. Quite work out calendar. Well, I sure weeks. didn't expect to see you walk in here. <laughs> wow, this is a surprise. Golly, I'm sick. Thrill to death. <laughs> I thought you were going to have your graduation today. Nope, I had that Wednesday. Well, did, uh, uh, What's your name? Teresa. Teresa, did you get there? Yeah. Oh, crazy. She got there, yep. Well, you're out. <laughs> oh, wow. I, yes, I am. I, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this reserve unit you're in up here, 
what kind of reserve is it? Infantry to engineers or? I think it's just an engineer company. I don't know the details. I don't know if it's heavy equipment. I don't know if it's combat engineers. I don't know the details. I've been trying to call them because I need to get with them in the next 72 hours yeah. and give them my paperwork. Yeah. And they're not answering their phone. I don't know. So I'm trying to get all that figured out, but I don't.